Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question from the chapter light based on the concept lenses. Let's go through the question and try to understand what is given and what we need to solve. Draw a ray diagram to show the formation of image of an object placed between infinity and the optical center of a concave lens. First question, what we need to do? Need to trace an image. Now, what kind of lens they are using? They are using a concave lens, something like this. So this is our concave lens. It will be having a pore, center of curvature on both sides, PF of I mean F2, this is F1, this is 2F1, this is F2, this is 2F2. So principal axis will be line joining all these points, right? This is our principal axis. Now what he is asking, draw a ray diagram to show the image formation of an object placed between infinity and the optical center. So this will be our optical center pole, infinity will be somewhere here. So anywhere between infinity and pole. So let's keep an object here and let's see what will happen. Now minimum number of rays we need to trace an image will be two rays, right? So first ray I am taking is going parallel to the principal axis so a ray which is going parallel to the principal axis and passing through concave lens how will the refracted ray go it will go in such a way that when you retrace its path in backward direction it will make focus right so after refraction it will go in such a way that when you retrace its path in backward direction it will meet principal axis at focus now what is our second ray Second ray I will be taking is a ray passing through pole. A ray which is passing through pole, after refraction, how will it go? It will go undeviated, right? Like this. So these are the two refracted rays and we can clearly see that they are diverging rays, right? So these two rays are never going to meet. So when rays are not meeting, what we need to do to trace an image? We need to extend them backwards. So when you extend them back, they are going to meet at a point here. So the image will be formed here. This is our image. So this is the ray diagram to show the formation of image of an object placed between infinity and the optical center of a concave lens. What are the properties of the image formed here? It is diminished. erect and it is real or virtual it's a virtual image because rays are not meeting actually so these are the properties of the image formed let's go to the next question b part what did you give in this question a concave lens of focal length 15 centimeters so a concave lens this focal length is 15 centimeters for concave lens if the object is placed on left side where will be the focal length? If the object is placed on the left side, where will be the focus? Focus will also be on the left side. So focal length is given as f is equal to 15 centimeters. Forms an image 10 centimeters from the lens. So image distance is equal to image distance is equal to how much? 10 centimeters. And just now we have seen that image is formed on this side, right? So image is also forming on the left side. So what all we need to calculate? We need to calculate the distance of object from the lens, which is u. So this is nothing but v, this is focal length, u. u we need to find out and also the magnification, m we need to find out and nature of the image form. How can we find out u? We know that from lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. Here f is given, u is not given, v is given. So u is only unknown and we can substitute values of v and f here to find out value of u. But 
one important point is we cannot use these values directly right we need to follow sign convention now here in this case we know that we are doing measurements in this direction right so whatever measurements we do from pole in this direction we take it as negative so focal length here is negative and image distance which is it is also negative so in this formula what will happen 1 by image distance is minus 10 centimeters minus 1 by u will be equal to 1 by minus 15 now from this equation what do we get 1 by u will be equal to 1 by 15 minus 1 by 10 which is nothing but minus 1 by 30 so from this equation what do we get we get u is equal to minus 30 centimeters so distance of object from the lens this will be equal to minus 30 centimeters this minus sign indicates that object is placed on the left side so u is equal to minus 30 centimeters what is the next question second part second part he is asking us to find out magnification magnification for lenses we know that is equal to v by u right so this will be equal to v is nothing but minus 10 centimeters u is nothing but minus 30 centimeters so this is equal to 1 by 3 plus so plus 1 by 3 is magnification this plus indicates that image is erect and 1 by 3 indicates that image size is one third of object size the nature of the image formed here is we know just now we have dealt when we are solving the first question it is virtual from magnification we can see that it is smaller in size which is diminished and erect because we are getting a positive sign here so erect so these are the three properties of the image which determines the nature and magnification is plus 1 by 3 and distance of object from the lens is minus 30 centimeters.